Which signs will be most affected by the Capricorn full moon, which peaks on July 3rd? Watch this video to find out. Welcome back to the Be The Hero channel. My name is Isabel and I help you understand who you are using personality typing and astrology. Now, if before I dive into what signs need to watch out during this Capricorn full moon and you ignore that loud car going by, which is pretty cool sounding, but also very annoying while trying to film, hit the link in the description below to get your very own My Horoscope Made Me Do It hoodie. These are seriously some of the comfiest hoodies I've worn. I love them with all my heart. So get yours now, link is in the description below. So the Capricorn full moon, this Capricorn full moon occurs and peaks on July 3rd. We can feel the effects three days before and three days after. You've probably already watched my videos covering in depth the Capricorn full moon. If you do not know anything about the Capricorn full moon, one, you should watch my videos, but two, as a general overview, this is a time for us to realize how much we've held ourselves true to our relationship with discipline and self mastery. Anywhere where we forced ourselves to be disciplined based on our chart, this will tell us where we were being disciplined, but wherever we were disciplined, we're reaping reward for those things. Now you likely set an intention around December 23rd of last year, uh, related to how you want to be disciplined, how you want to be ambitious and how you're going to provide yourself with a sense of financial stability, but you might not have felt reward for that until now. So this is a lot of positive energy in the stars. Frankly, this full moon will feel great for us, especially because it forms a good aspect to the planet of expansion, which is in the sign of monetary gain. <clears throat> and it forms a good aspect to Saturn in Pisces retrograde. So during this time, we can feel more emotionally balanced, or at least that it's easier for us to make the responsible decision around our health, and we can experience monetary or material gain during this time. However, we might also want to watch out for being overly emotionally reactive. And this is because the moon in Capricorn opposes Mercury in Cancer. And so we might have to really regulate our emotional reactions during this time and expressing ourselves can be hard. We might even be a little overreactive during this time, or on the other end, we might repress ourselves too much. So we're all going to feel this energy, but who is going to be the most affected? First and foremost, if you have placements in Capricorn or Pisces, which means sun, moon, or rising in Capricorn or Pisces, you're going to feel the effects of these very strongly because Capricorn, it, the full moon is occurring in the sign of Capricorn and Capricorn is ruled by Saturn and Saturn is in Pisces. And so these are the two most prominent aspects during this time. So if you have strong aspects in Capricorn or in Pisces, you're going to feel this full moon strongly. You're also going to feel the effects of this strongly. If you are a cardinal sign, if you don't know about the modalities, I have a video coming out soon about it in my videos covering each of the Zodiac archetypes. I cover what the modalities are, but if you are an Aries Libra, Wow, I just flipped you guys off there for a second. <laughs> if you're an Aries, Libra, Cancer or Capricorn, you are a cardinal sign. There are three modalities in astrology, and these represent the different kinds of mentalities we can have. What kind of role we play in society? The cardinal signs are initiators and they are very, they have a generally assertive thoughts. They tend to be pioneering in some way. Libra is pioneering in their relationships. Aries is pioneering by themselves. Capricorn is pioneering in their finances and career. Cancer is pioneering uh, for family and nurturance. Point is, if you have strong Aries, Libra, Capricorn or Cancer placements. So if your sun, moon or rising is in Aries, Libra, Capricorn or Cancer, specifically Capricorn or Cancer, you're going to feel the effects of this full moon strongly as well, because you guys are all connected by the same modality. I would say specifically, again, for Capricorn and Cancer, you're going to feel this very strongly. For Capricorns, you might experience identity crises during this time and ID identity uh, revitalizations, making it so that you can show up as more of who you want to be and being rewarded for that. 
And if you are a Cancer Sun Moon or Rising, you can experience depth in your relationships, material gain through your relationships, emotional healing in your relationships, and potentially some conflict first because you might feel a little bit out of your box as you are in your opposite sign. But if you are also an Aries or a Libra, then you might feel this strongly as well. For Libra, this happens in their fourth house of family and home. And for Aries, this happens in their 10th house of career. Either way, you guys are gonna feel the effects of this strongly. So if you have Cancer, Capricorn, Aries, Libra, or Pisces aspects, you will feel the effects of this moon strongly. However, I want to add one more secret zodiac sign that is going to feel the effects of this strongly that a lot of people are likely not talking about. And this is because the Capricorn full moon forms a very positive trine to Jupiter, which is in Taurus. So for all of us, this could mean financial gain or material gain of some kind, as Jupiter, the planet of expansion, is in the sign of Taurus, which is all about comfort, stability, self-worth, self-sufficiency, and money, which, you know, we all love. So those who have strong Taurus aspects, as in sun, moon, or rising in Taurus, could feel the effects of this full moon strongly. Either way, if you have Capricorn, Cancer, Libra, Aries, Pisces, or Taurus, which is basically half the zodiac signs. If you have any of those aspects strong, you will feel the effects of this full moon strongly, more so. However, even if you do not, you're gonna wanna look at these signs and figure out what houses they are all happening in. First and foremost, look at what sign the full moon in Capricorn happens in for you in your birth chart. And secondly, look at what signs Taurus and Pisces are in specifically the early degrees of Pisces. I do not know exactly off the top of my head what degree Jupiter is in Taurus in currently, but if you want to learn more about how this full moon is going to affect you personally and see and dive deep into how you can prepare yourself best for this transit to really reap both the emotional rewards that should be coming your way and the financial and monetary and material rewards, and then hit the link in the description below to book a reading with me, 30 minutes or an hour, 30 minute reading if you want the basic, an hour if you wanna dive deep, and we can talk about how the transits are going to affect you, specifically this full moon, and maybe even the upcoming transits as well. So link is in the description below to book a reading with me now. While you're down there, be sure to check out the free birth chart workbook if you have not yet already, and check out the Making Mindfulness Fun bundle where you can access all 30 of our workbooks and courses we have ever created on astrology, self-development, and more for only $30. That's $1 per course, per workbook. You get lifetime access to these things and you get exclusive access to workbooks that are not available anywhere else and that have recently been launched, such as the Moon Sign Self-Care Workbook, where you can learn and dive deep into your moon sign and learn how to practice self-care for your moon. Seriously, guys, I have been working on this workbook for so insanely long, and I'm so excited that I can now finally get it into your guys' hands, well, via your phone, but still into your hands. So hit the link in the description below to get the bundle now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I sincerely hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and share this channel with a friend who would love astrology updates. Once again, my name is Isabel, and from my heart to yours, namaste.